how's it going guys it's your boy kitty here and today we are playing some ascension on black ops 1 um and today we're going to be talking about the xbox one now, as you know it was recently released a while ago um just to let you guys know sorry for um not posting a video in a while it's been like five or six days because i've been uh hard at work on some projects for school so I've been busy with that, but um, I decided to bring you guys a quick little video update on the live, don't worry. And it's about like a eight and a half minute video and stuff. So, you know, it's close to the end of the year. I still have plenty of videos lined up ready to be uploaded. Uh, I'm not sure how much time I'm going to have in the summer to upload. I'm going to try as much as possible. Because I, I, have, I have so many videos still. To upload and just like not enough time to edit and shit so hopefully in the summer i'll have plenty of that time but anyway let's move into our subject today of the xbox one now it was released a few days ago not a few days ago about a week or two ago and you know they sat there for about an hour and a half telling us about features that us gamers really can give less shits about personally i'm saying um, you know, they just presented, oh, we coming out with the new Xbox One, you should buy it. And the worst part is they don't even present, like, the pricing or anything. They don't do, they don't show you jack shit, really. So, we're, we're pretty much waiting for E3 for them to, uh, present some more stuff there and hopefully get some release dates, uh, and some prices on the console and games that will be coming out. Because there's been, like, so many rumors, like, I'll, I'll tell you a few. Like, supposedly, the Xbox Live, they're saying it's going to be close to the, be the same exact way they are using it now. And, um, I heard a while ago that what it was supposed to do is that they were going to use it like a cell phone service where they would charge you, I think it was $10 a month for two years, and it was a contract plan, so you can never give it up. And if you broke it, which you can, obviously, probably, if you broke it, you would have to pay, you know, a fee, like a cell phone service. Then, you know, there's all this stuff on the pricing of games. The games were supposedly supposed to be $100 or something. We're still not sure about that. I have a, I have a feeling they're only going to stay to 60 maybe go up to like 70 or 80 Hopefully not 100 because $100 for a game is, that's, that's unbelievable bullshit right there. So I'm probably going to stick with my old Xbox. I don't know if I'm going to go for the new one. I'm definitely not going to go for PS4. I personally hate uh, the PlayStation and Sony. I really don't like their company. Their systems aren't really that great, personally. But uh, they're also throwing in the Kinect there. And it's all new. Blah, blah, blah. You know, you can use it for hand motions. It's supposed to pick up more of your motions of what you're doing. And you should have seen, if you didn't watch the presentation of it, go watch it. It's, it's like, if you have an hour and a half and you're doing nothing and you have nothing better to do, it's stupid, but just watch it just for how stupid it is. I mean, look at all those zombies. Where'd they even come from? But, um, what they did is they decided to bring in, like, all this extra media, like TV and music and shit that no one even needs. Personally, since I'm a gamer, I really don't need extra music and videos and shit to actually like play on my xbox i mean if you have netflix on there whatever i'll watch that once in a while but personally i'm using it for gaming purposes i do youtube so i kind of need an xbox for gaming not for stupid tv and shit you know we got time for that i don't even know how i saved myself there that crawler almost butt fucked me but they think that they're supposed to do that, but I really don't understand how they're going to do this. How the Xbox is actually going to pan out, and why they're even bothering with inputting all this extra... Oh, we'll add in the TV uh, feature, we'll add in the music feature, we'll add in all this other stuff, and how you can, you know, pan over to the left or right with a, with a uh, swipe of your hand. It's like, who cares about that, personally? If you seen if you seen my setup, which you guys haven't, I haven't made a video of that. I might make that like uh, 200 subs 
like special or something if I if I get there soon. And uh, what what they did, it's like why why who, who would need that? Like personally, my setup is really small in my room, and my room's pretty small, so I really have no room for a connect to actually use it, except for the voice control. And the voice control is another thing, you know. You'd be like, turn off Xbox. Xbox, go watch CNN, blah, blah, blah. It's like, no no one really needs that, personally. I mean, it, unless you're a complete lazy fuck, which I'm, I'm pretty lazy, but I'm not that lazy. I'm not going to really be using that feature ever. So, I mean, there's no true purpose to that, personally. And I'm, I'm kind of worried about the pricing of this console. This console has a shit ton of features that, first of all, I'm not even going to use. If I get it, so I mean, there's no purpose for all these features and shit. And I'm kind of wondering how much the games are gonna be. The console, I'm guessing. A lot of people said, uh, some like websites said 400, 500. That's what I'm guessing. I'm hoping they're gonna stick within a 300 to 400 range if possible. Cheaper the better. Let me just say because I really don't want to go for an expensive, like, $500, $400 console. If it does come out to be that way, I probably won't be, uh, buy it. I'm probably not going to buy it anyway. I'm probably going to stick with my old Xbox. And you know, some people say they might have to be working on like the Elgato company, Roxio, and all those other companies. They might have to be working on capture cards for the uh, new consoles because they might be running different cable setups or some shit. I'm not sure how that's supposed to work. But supposedly, you know, there's supposedly new cables or something of that sort that, you know, you're going to have to have a whole new capturing device for YouTube, which I think is kind of stupid uh, if they do that, because that's that sucks because you, you're going to have to buy a whole new console, which, you know, who knows how much that's going to be. And then once you buy the console, then you have to buy the game recording device which you know who knows how much that's gonna be probably two hundred dollars two fifty maybe even three hundred so that's another fucking two hundred three hundred dollars but by the time you're done with that you know xbox live a game or two you know an extra extra controller whatever you're gonna come up to a thousand dollars about for the whole get up and that would be ridiculous like even just getting my xbox you know, getting a headset, blah, blah, blah. Over time, it definitely took a good amount of money. Like, my Xbox was about 170 I got my headset for 50 I got MW3, Black Ops 2, and Black Ops 1 for about 120 I would say, maybe. Around there. I got a cooling fan for it for 15 and then I bought my Elgato for it, which is, you know, 150 So, you know, that it's not that much. And these guys I was playing with, he was doing a glitch. So, just so you guys know. And, I mean, it's just like all this money really, really just, like, gets to you. It's just like, how much money is it really going to cost for all this console shit? But, uh, that's it for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment. Comment. Yeah, comment. Come comment please <laughs> leave a comment saying what you guys think is going to happen with this console problem here how they're going to work it and shit so uh yeah see you guys next time adios